Let's also look into another Bible portion that we are very familiar with. That is Lamentations 3, 23 to 24. The word lamentation means a sad song. Let's read from 19 to 24. This book was written by Jeremiah and he was known as the weeping prophet. He was in a very uh, difficult situation because he had to prophesy to the children of Israel saying, what is going to happen and he was in the midst of a time when the Babylonians overtook Jerusalem and took the Jews captive so in the midst of that he is singing or he is declaring this the thought of my suffering and homelessness is bitter beyond words I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss yet I still dare to hope when I remember this Shall we all read the next portion? The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in Him. In the first few verses, he was expressing his anguish, his trauma, his affliction. But he turns it around to praise and to declare his faith in the Lord. And we can learn something from this, how we can turn our difficult moments, our difficult times and look to the Lord and say, Lord, your faithfulness will never cease. This is my foundation of faith. So why I read through all these scriptures was to build our faith, to remember that the Lord is faithful, to remember that the Lord is good. And I'm sure each one of us have our own testimonies of God's presence, of his provision, of his protection and his faithfulness. So for me, uh, there has been many times I would climb those stairs weeping and crying. But in the midst of this service, I have found consolation, comfort, strength in the Lord because the Lord is faithful. The Lord speaks to us through his servants. The Lord speaks to us through his word. The Lord speaks to us as we meditate on his word. So these are things that as we desire to hear the voice of God, these are things that God has enabled us and given us to build our strength, build our faith in the Lord. And I believe that this is a good place and a good time to surrender our burdens and cares to the Lord. Because sometimes life is so fast we have we don't take time to slow down we say we can't afford to slow down and we forget that we are not called to walk alone we forget that god is there to help us we forget that we have help because god has said call upon me and i will answer you i will show you great and mighty things